Hi guys, so today I'm using Arteza's iridescent acrylic colors. They come 10 uh, to a box, little two ounce bottles. I love these. Of all of the products that I use of Arteza, of their paint, um, these, have, these are probably the most exciting that I've used. I mean, I love these paints. They're like color shift paints, guys. They have an iridescent quality, almost like an interference paint. Like this electric plum purple, it has almost, I think, some like blue mica in it. So you get that color shift quality and they're really, really beautiful. Um, I'm going to use the lime green today too, as well as that purple one. But you can see the consistency, very shiny. Um, they're not too thick. They almost have the consistency of like a soft body paint. Um, and... If you're interested, there's a link in the description box to uh, buy these paints through my affiliate link. I just mixed all of these with Floetrol 5050, so uh, thank you to my patrons for your support, you guys. I appreciate everything that you do. It's been really, really, really fun uh, seeing the things in my wish list come true. It's been very invigorating and exciting for me. I get some of these things and I just can't wait to paint. Um, donations are always welcome and I'm excited to, um, you know, keep sharing these videos for you. So this canvas is a pretty small canvas. It's 11 by 14. I just lift one side and I filled my cup off camera, unfortunately, but the color scheme is very, very simple. It's literally just white, which I didn't even use satin enamel or anything. I used an Artist Loft white. I used the Arteza uh, per, uh, purple color that I showed you, the lime green, and gold. And that's it. So, yeah. Now... You can see basically that up and down motion is creating these little branches. See those? I pull my cup down through the center and then I go up and down and up and down, up and down. And then the longer that you, you know, the longer the motion, the longer the branches are. The shorter and quicker the motion, the smaller the branches are. And you'll be able to see or fingers or whatever you want to call them I always think of them as like little branches and you'll see when I fully pull away it just totally reminds me of branches here I didn't speed this up so you could actually see it in real time This is totally out of my color palette too. Green and purple are not my color palettes, but I swear those paints just kind of inspired me. They were so pretty. <laughs> so, and then I tilt. I'm not used to using a base coat, um, so I have to tilt some of the paint off to avoid potential cracking. Uh, I can tell there's a lot of paint on here, and although I don't know, it's pretty much always my issue with like the angel wing kind of pour. Um, I always end up having to tilt some off, so. Then I just use my airbrush and I'm giving a few little details. You can do this with a straw too, by the way. You don't have to use an airbrush. It's fun to have the control of an airbrush. If you're interested in an airbrush, there's one in my Amazon shop that I recommend along with a compressor. But you can absolutely do this with your breath with a straw. Now my paint's a little thick to do it with just your breath, but you would, you'd have to use a straw or a tube or something. I'm just flaring out the edges a little bit. I 
I always love the way the white looks over the black. That's one of my favorite. <laughs> So here's the painting dried and as I worried and suspected it cracked. There was too much paint in there and I knew I knew there was. I don't think this is a quality of the Arteza iridescence. I think it's because I had too much paint and um, I'm thinking of adding gold leaf in all the cracks. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section what you think I should do, if I should add gold leaf to the cracks or not. I think it'd be kind of cool. Anyway, look forward to hearing from you guys. Until the next time, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe and hit all notifications so I can make more art videos just for you.